Hello and welcome to today's video where we will discuss how to publish dashboards on NetSuite. So every user on NetSuite is assigned a role and each role is assigned to a center. Let me quickly show you what this looks like. If I go to setup as an administrator and I go to user roles, manage roles, I'm going to see the list of roles that have been created on this demo environment and I'm going to check out one of these roles called account and customize. And we see here that it's got a center type of accounting center. If I'm looking at the role I'm currently using, it's called the administrator role, then I'm going to see something completely different. Everything is linked by center type. And if I scroll down to classic center, I'm going to find my administrator role here. And you can see here that it's a classic center type. What this means is if I'm an administrator, any dashboard that I create and publish will only be publishable to roles that have the same center as me. So all these roles here are linked to the accounting center. So whenever you create a role as an accounting center person, then you will be able to grant access to this dashboard to all the roles that use the same center as you. Now let's go to the home dashboard. You'll notice that this dashboard has a lot of elements and you can customize them by clicking on personalize here, adding, removing elements from the list. And also every menu on NetSuite has its own dashboard you know, transactions, lists, activities, reports, etc. Now, when you go on these uh, dashboards, you will see within them, there's a settings box, you know, a setting section. And within this setting section, you will see there's a personalized dashboard, but also a published dashboard. If you don't see the published dashboard on the role that you're in, please talk to your administrator so that they will go to setup, user roles, they got a manager role. And let's take this one, for example, they'll go to the role itself and they will go to the setup permission and they will ensure that publish dashboard is there as full. Once your role has been set up, then you can, you will be able to see within the settings, the publish dashboard. Now, when I click on publish dashboard, what I'll be granted is the ability to, to name this dashboard. I'll be able to lock the shortcuts. And I'll also be able to lock the new bar. Now, the interesting thing is I can share this dashboard to only roles that have the same center as me. So in case you don't see a role you want to publish this to, it's because you're not logged on as a role with the same center as the role you want to publish a dashboard to. So log out and log back in for the correct role. But once you're logged in correctly with the right center linked to your role, you will be able to see who you want to publish this to. So let's say I want to publish this dashboard to all administrators and I want to override all the existing uh, dashboards. Then I just click on administrator and click on override and I click on add. Now, which dashboard do I want to publish? Is it just a home dashboard that I created? Or is it also maybe, let's say the transaction dashboard that I created here? So each element can also be locked so that let's say you are very cautious and you want to ensure security of data across the departments. Maybe you don't want to let your users go and fiddle with other people's departments by changing the dashboard elements. So maybe you want to lock them or maybe you want to let people add elements and move the content on their own dashboard. So you have these options. Now, the only thing you need to do is click on save and the people will either have your dashboard if you decided to override the existing user settings or anyone new with this role will be given this dashboard as standard. I hope this made sense to you. If you need some more information on how to create dashboards and save searches and charts, just reach out to us and we'll gladly help you out. Thank you and goodbye.